everyone today i will discuss uh, larsen fuzzy model in the last video i, I discussed mamdani fuzzy model and as we know this is the overall concept of fuzzy system in this fuzzy system basically there are uh, four subsystems are available fuzzification defuzzification inference engine and knowledge base Further, inference engine is classified into three main parts that is depth of firing, implication and aggregation. So, Larsen fuzzy model, if X is AI and or or, okay, A rule can be and or or, both can be applicable. If X is AI and Y is BI, then Z is CI. Or it may be if X is AI or Y is BI, then Z is CI. So these are the mathematical equation and the firing of strength of the rule ith rule can be a max mean composition or max product composition as we discussed in the Mundani model also okay so this is the final output after aggregation and basically there are three rules will be applicable single rule with single antecedent single rule with multiple antecedent multiple rule with multiple antecedent so both composition will be considered and input will be fuzzy for single rule with some single antecedent if x is a there is only one rule that's why single antecedent if x is a it means it is there is only single antecedent then y is b so this is output we want to calculate if x is a dash then y is b dash right so there is a basic difference between mamdani and larsen you can see or visualize same process will be carried out and same numerical values will be there just i want to show you the difference so solid line that is a and b this is known to us and we want to calculate the output for uh, a dash so just i overlap or superimpose with this one and now degree of compatibility is equal to 0.58 now uh, we are going to scale down we are going to slice in case of mamdani but in the case of larsen we are not going to slice we are going to scale down this particular level because earlier b is equal to like this right and now w is equal to 0.58 so this particular level let us this is 0.58 now i'm going to scale down my input uh, output this shape will be same right but in the case of Mamdani, just we slice at this particular level. So this whole area will be considered. But in this case, this left area, if this left area is considered also, then it becomes uh, Mamdani. So if area is less, then definitely in defazification, crisp value will be less, right? So finally, just we are going to scale down this particular level and value will be b dash so single rule with single antecedent and rule is max product so there is only one rule and we don't uh, we can't identify max product so same degree of compatibility 0.58 again this one so just we are going to the scale down <coughs> single rule with single antecedent fuzzy input now i want to um, differentiate between mamdani model and fuzzy model because example is same value will be same in case of mamdani max product 0.58 just we are going to slice at 0.58 so this is the final output but in case of larsen this value of b will be scaled down will be scaled down so just shape will be maintained and uh, in this case area this area will be less right so this white area is not the part of larsen model but in the case of mamdani it is the part so this one is the basic difference 
in case of max mean w is equal to 0.58 again this is the area and in this case this will be the area so this is the only difference single rule with single antecedent so it is the crisp input case when i applied this case input uh, so degree of compatibility is equal to 0.34 and now just i scale down this particular output and finally output will be equal to this one now max product again same 0.34 and just 0.34 scale down because this will be max mean or max product will be easily identified when there are multiple rule and multiple antecedents now same difference so i will not discuss this now single rule with multiple antecedent so single rule there is only one rule if x is a one antecedent and y is b second antecedent therefore this is multiple antecedent but with single rule now we want to calculate output for this particular input and just superimposed with this one degree of compatibility 0.58 here degree of compatibility 0.36 again we have to follow the maximum composition so minimum value of 0.58 and 0.36 is 0.36 therefore we are going to scale down this so this will be our final output right in max product uh, our degree of compatibility after overlapping degree of compatibility comes out to be 0.58 after overlapping degree of compatibility comes out to be 0.36 in max product we have to multiply both these value 0.58 multiplied by 0.36 final weighted value will be equal to 0.21 so we are going to scale down this with 0.27 0.21 so this will be our final output this is the basic difference between mamdani and fuzzy there is only difference in between area in mamdani area will be more in lasen area will be less therefore when we are going to compute defuzzification uh, lasen value will be less than the mamdani model so single rule with multiple antecedent but right now the case is crisp input so x is a y is b so therefore multiple antecedent when x is 6.5 then degree of compatibility is equal to 0.81 when y is 8.5 degree of compatibility is equal to 0.36 so in max mean composition we are going to take the minimum so minimum value is 0.36 just scale down to maintaining the shape and final answer will be this single rule with multiple antecedent input is crisp so x is equal to 6.5 right now we are going to apply max product right so here degree of compatibility is equal to 0.36 so 0.81 multiply by 0.36 final value be equal to 0.29 so scale down with 0.29 so this will be our final output so this is the basic difference 0.29 0.29 0.36 only difference between is the area right so only difference between mamdani and larsen area larsen area will be less than mamdani now multiple rule with multiple antecedent and when input is equal to fuzzy <coughs> so first superimpose with this one degree of compatibility 0.86 now superimpose this with this one degree of compatibility 0.36 now we have to take max mean composition so out of them 0.86 and 0.36 minimum value is 0.36 now superimpose this with this one degree of compatibility 0.58 superimpose this with this one degree of compatibility 0.35 so minimum out of 0.58 and 0.35 is 0.35 right now what we have to do we have to combine this 
because there are multiple rule with multiple antecedent this is the aggregated output aggregated output right so in aggregated output we have to combine the output of all fuzzy set into a single fuzzy set this is also a fuzzy set this is also a fuzzy set if there are n rule there are n fuzzy output so in aggregated output we have to combine all the fuzzy output into a single fuzzy output so these two fuzzy output will be combined in a single fuzzy output so this is known as the aggregated output and for max product this is the degree of compatibility when we overlap with this one and again when we overlap with this one degree of compatibility 0.36 now we have to multiply 0.36 0.8 after multiplication it comes out 0.31 superimpose with this one and now with this one so finally after multiplication output is 0.20 again we have to uh, aggregate individuals rule fuzzy output into a single fuzzy output right so this is the finally aggregated output this is the final difference between Mamdani and Larsen using max product composition and max mean composition. Same we can conclude with the help of crisp input. If input will be crisp, same thing will be repeated. Not a big issue. So x is 7, degree of compatibility 0.28. Here degree of compatibility 0.97. So max mean composition, so we have to take 0.28 as the minimum value. <coughs> here degree of compatibility 0.14, here degree of compatibility 0.99. So minimum value is equal to 0.14. Again we have to aggregate it, these particular two values and final output will be equal to this one, right? Again we have to consider max product in max product point degree of compatibility 0.28 multiply with 0.97 so final output is equal to 0.27 here degree of compatibility 0.14 here 0.99 when we are going to multiply both these then final answer will be 0.14 again we have to uh, aggregate these two value into a single fuzzy output after that we have to apply defuzzification on this to find out a crisp output. So multiple rule with multiple antecedent. So comparative analysis, Mamdani and this is Larsen. All the values are same, only differing area. So Larsen having less area with respect to Mamdani. So, example dekh lete, single antecedent with three rules like in Mamdani. Same question, universe of discourse for x is equal to this, minus 10 to 10, for y, 0 to 10. So, antecedent means input and output. There are three rules, if x is small, then y is small, if x is medium, then y is medium. If x is large, then y is large. Now we want to calculate output when x is equal to minus 3.9. So the same question, this. So at this, uh, the degree of compatibility with the small is equal to 0.3 and with the degree of compatibility with medium is equal to 0.7. But there is no degree of compatibility with this large because it is not intersecting this particular area. Right. For, therefore, there are total three rules. Out of these three rules, only rule one and rule two are applicable. So, for rule one, because it is the Larsen model, this is the output, and for rule two, this is our output. Right. Now, in the last step, just we are going to aggregate these two fuzzy output in a single fuzzy output so this is known as the aggregation okay this is known as the aggregation so when we apply when we apply defuzzification method using center of area it will be equal to 3.5 when we apply bisector of area defuzzification or crisp 
output is equal to 3.6 uh, using mean of maxima output is 3.7 smallest of maximum then crisp output 2.4 largest of maximum crisp output will be equal to this one so you can see uh, when we apply different defazification technique output will be different so I already discussed with you mean of maxima smallest of maxima these three techniques uh, must be avoided you have to use center oid of area or bisector of area both of them are eligible right so for the same question if we are going to apply different uh, defensification method then output will be different so this will be our aggregated fuzzy output okay thank you so much now next I will go with the TSK model and I hope so uh, you are more aware about the Larsen model thank you so much